Hiya, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today I have a quick haul video for you from Stamping Up. It is that time of year again where they have launched their annual catalogue. However, this time I decided just to mostly focus on the new colours. So let's get going and show you what they look like. Okay, so just to tease out the video just a little bit, I'm gonna actually start off by showing you the stamp sets that I got. So this is the first one and it just looks so adorable, particularly when you saw it stamped and coloured. I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. This is called Walk in the Woods. It is a red rubber stamp set. So really nice, deep, you can see very deep um, etched uh, rubber there and just this most cute adorable um, images and beautiful lovely sentiments to go with that so I just think oh, it was really cute and I thought it'd be really nice to color you can make a scene from it you could do them individually I thought those were absolutely lovely actually I really like that so that's that one and then I got this one called Hippo Happiness. Now this is one of those where you can just layer these up to make your little animals. And then you've got some cute little sentiments here like Hip Hippo Array and all that kind of stuff. And when in doubt, be a unicorn. And this particular one is actually photopolymer. And as you can see, they're not massive little images. They're very cute. I think they did come with dies. Um, I can't swear to it. But I have a feeling there was a die set that went with these as well. So you could die cut around them. Okay, and this is the next one that I got. I just thought this was adorable as well. It's called Zany Zebras. And you can see it's just so cute. It's time to celebrate wild about you. Happy birthday, kick up your heels. Um, and again, this one is your red rubber stamps. So I have to say, I, I really, prefer, I don't dislike the photopolymer, but I do prefer red rubber to stamp with. I think it just works really well. And then the last stamp set that I got, just double checking that, is this one called Whiskey Business. It's just nice to find a nice man's inverted commas, because it doesn't have to be for the men, but I just, you know, it's, I guess, aimed at the man in your life. Anyway, so then there's lots of nice sentiments and that is kind of cool for Father's Day and then you've got a birthday one, just generic ones and you've got like the lovely decanter, the glass and etc. Anyway, this is again red rubber stamps. So, so that's all my stamp sets. So now to the fun part, the actual colours. And I have already taken the cellophane off and actually added the stickers on the end here. This comes on the back, you just peel it off and, and you stick it on the end that doesn't have that little gap there so that when you pop it in your racks and everything you can see exactly what colour it is so that's always quite handy. So I did all that already so let me just tell you what we've got. We've got Cinnamon Cider, Bumblebee, Magenta Madness, Just Jade and Misty Moonlight. Now I will do a sampling of these colours in due course but let me just show you what else I have in this um, range because Stamping Up do do like the colours that match across the board there will be ribbons and all sorts as well anyway, they also have the stamping up right markers you've also got the normal uh, the other stamping up markers i'm not sure what they're called but they're like an alcohol marker i think these are a water-based marker to be honest i rather like the look of the others but since i've been collecting these and i have all of the colors in these and i have a ton of alcohol markers already it's quite nice to get something a little different in that regard so i decided to stick with that in the other markers you basically get um a dark and a light tone of each colour so for example with say this misty moonlight you'd have a light shade and a dark shade in the marker so for each colour you need two pens I mean you don't need to but that's how it works kind of thing um, so we've got here say the same uh, colours in the markers and you've just got two different ends so you've got your brush marker and then on the other end 
you've got your fibre tip end so great for journaling on that end and great for colouring on the other and that's the same across all five colours so again I'll show you what they look like on a piece of card in a moment now this time I decided I normally when I the new colours come out I get a pack of card of each colour you can get I think it's a pack of 20 sheets for you know each individual colour or you can get this mixed pack which is what they call the 2020 2022 in colour collection um, four sheets of each 20 in total and because I wasn't a hundred percent sure which colours I would like on this one um, I wasn't particularly sure about this one with how it would look it may look gorgeous when it's stamped so I got the mixed pack of card which is a really nice way of um, getting this kind of a bit of card of each so you've got that lovely bumblebee the cinnamon cider I was trying to know what it was called the just jade which looks stunning I really like the look of that and this uh, magenta madness looks a it looks a much bluier pink than the other colours and a much brighter pink than the other pinks that I've seen so far from stamping up and then we've got this blue here which is called misty moonlight so that's the new colours I've got here a piece of card so I thought we could have a little stamp and see what they look like because seeing them on the front there really doesn't tell us very much okay so these are the new style boxes obviously again so you just kind of lift them at there and then push them in place I have to say I'm finding these a little stiff compared as you can see they're quite hard but just give them a bit more of a tug and they will come just watch yourself with the ink I've just got here this uh, Simon Says stamp stamp set called swatches and basically you get all the four different swatches and I'm just using this one here um, I thought that would be a good test of how the colour looks because you get a really good square of it so let's just pop that down now I find when you have a big area like this that's sort of like a large small solid area of ink if you hold it just for a couple of seconds you give the ink a chance just to absorb into the card and if you don't what I find is you get it's a little bit more patchy okay I probably didn't press quite so good in that corner but you can see it just gives it that chance to go into the card if you just go donk donk it's it's not really had any chance to really put itself down onto the cardstock so that's your bumblebee I'll come closer in a moment when so we can see it but um, in more detail but I wanted to just go along where you can see all of them as we go then we've got the Just Jade and we're getting really nice um, coverage on this stamp um, sometimes with ink you get like puddling but it's nice and sticky and it's really covering that and then we've got Misty Moonlight And then finally our magenta madness. And the other thing is as ink dries it will lighten, it will soften. So also give it a chance to do that before you completely judge a colour because you need to see it finished okay so they look delicious don't they let me show you those a little bit closer a 
really nice colours. Actually that's a lot nicer than I was expecting. I have to say that was the one I wasn't sure about. I can see that being a really useful colour however, you know, especially for like a nature type thing. And then it's just given a real pop. These are all quite soft and then you've got this real pop of colour that just lifts it all really nicely. So that's those. So let's see the markers now. So starting off with our bumblebee, let's do that is the brush marker side and then on the other side we've got the what I would call is the fibre tip pen but I would almost call it like your journaling part of your pen and then again on here we've got our brush marker and then we've got that fibre tip and then we've got just jade and what I like is just how they really are so similar to what is the ink colour which is really good And then we've got our Misty Moonlight. And this writes really nicely as well. ones and you can see as these dried they became more and more like this and when they started they were not perhaps as similar so then we've got the yellow which is a really good match obviously then we've got our cinnamon whatever it's called and then our jade Oh, that's in a different order. Then we've got the pink magenta, I think they call it. Keep forgetting the names. You learn them after a while, don't you? And then our lovely misty moonlight. So you can see again, the card goes really well as well. So the colours are really, really well matched across the board. And I'm sure things like the other accessories, like the ribbons, etc., will have the same. So that is it. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at the new 2020-2022 in colour collection. And obviously a few extra little stamps. So I hope you've enjoyed taking a look. I hope it's helped you decide whether these are the colours for you. I will take pictures of this for you so you can see it on my website so that you can get a really good view of what they look like. Alright, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.